Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about the pelvic rib ring. So here, Casey's with me again, and we're looking at the pelvic rib ring, which I think about as another rib ring. It's a very sturdy rib ring. But so I'm gonna palpate Casey's pelvis and see if she has a transverse rotation to the left or the right. Very rarely are any of us symmetrical. So if you just listen with your fingers on the ASISs and just hold it there for a moment, then you'll feel which way they're rotated. And Casey has a little transverse rotation to the right. So the left hip bone is forward and the right hip bone is back. So what I want her to do from here is to sit on the bench and her leg can be extended. Yep, and the pelvis can just be at a comfortable diagonal. So we need to train the pelvis or message the pelvis into the opposite way that it wants to rotate. So we want to try to encourage it towards that transverse rotation to the left. Because habitually, and this is what happens to all of us, so the femur heads are being cued all the time because of this transverse rotation to the right into the same lateral medial relationship. But we want to try to, to change the game a little bit. So from here, she's going to try to keep both her sitting bones anchored. She keeps her eyes and her head forward. And it's just this little swivel of the pelvic halves. And as she does that, I want her to reach really strongly through this inner leg, right out through the heel, and then she can release it again. Good. And as she does that, we also want to look that this standing foot, knee and leg stay in place. So she's not taking the knee with her as she does that little swivel of the pelvis to the left side. Good, and she has to counter it with the reach through her inner leg, and then she gently releases. And maybe one more of those. So she's standing solid into her left foot and leg. She's taking the pelvis for a little bit of a ride here, and she's also noticing when she rotates that she drops her sitting bones, right? So she's trying not to lift one sitting bone. Good, and then gently all the way to the center. Now, Case, go ahead and cross your arms. So we have the carousel pull of the spine. So first, we cue the rotation again with that same thing of the transverse rotation of the pelvis to the left as she reaches out through her inner right leg. And then that's a cue to her spine. So then she can start to rotate from her rib cage, but uh-oh, so Casey with her scoliosis really wants to bring her rib cage to the right. So I'm gonna give her a little tapping so she feels um, some cueing that she can shift over and stand onto that left side. There you go, nice, even a little bit more. Yes, beautiful. Oh, we should be doing this from, from the back. This is really beautiful, keep coming, keep coming, this way, this way, this way. Yep, and keep, dro that's enough. And keep dropping your right sits bone. And now gently rotate all the way back to center. Let the pelvis go and return back to your beginning position. All right, just another tool that you can start to organize and help people find their blind spots, especially in rotation, which is, again, we talked about this on the, the previous episode. This is our superpower as humans. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum. See you next time, and never stop learning.